Okay, on today's late night show, we are our special guest. We're talking about a hungry lion, as a lion moves fast as when they're hungry. Dig? Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am Eccentric Rockstar C, and I have another intuitive message for everyone today. Keep in mind, table resonates, leave it does not. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I just want to show for my cards. How are we going to start with Libra? Something pertaining to love. Now, something's a little different about your energy, too. You're iconic for your creativities, creative endeavors. Whatever the genre you dominate, you're iconic for it. Dig. Hold on. I got to get a different deck of cards to add to this because it's something iconic about your creativity, and I want to flex on that quite a bit. what my mother told me dot 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 someone is tapping into they're coming back home to their self what them worth waiting for okay divine timing is at work with your love life it's something you're rebuilding on you're rebuilding on what falls back to be traditional you know how i say the way we're raised the foundation is so important because we all go through our own trials and tribulations what our parents can't do is control the mistakes we make in life so once you are finished learning your lessons is what your what your unique character is tailored to learn in this life karmic lessons experiences you fall back on what's familiar you fall back on what your mother was telling you and you're coming back home to yourself so you could have you could have been out of it for a while you know what i mean you could have been out of it for a while and there is somebody who is in support of you and this is like a blessing. This friendship is a real blessing and it's, it's not over. So it's something that's worth waiting for. Divine time is at work which in your love life. Okay. You got some kind of commitment. It doesn't have to be a wedding. It could be more success. The situation involves marriage. Someone thought they should get married or something like that or feel like you're at a place of space where you should be focusing on marriage and that's not it but it's worth waiting for so for this unique message onyx black onyx you said your saturn could be in sagittarius autonomy self-discipline and command so you're called to tune into your inner commander Onyx is a strong, a strong ally, dispelling loneliness and self-doubt and instilling greater confidence in your decision making. You face your fears and know that you have the power to overcome them. Now, Onyx surface represents the passing of time, so the balance of the yin and the yang. It is a sturdy and solitary stone and it encourages you to break free from any unhealthy relationships in order to be autonomous. Know that you are completely capable of making the right decision for yourself. After all, it's your life. Be free. That's what someone is realizing or having that, that pivotal point, that, that epiphany. Epiphany. for you Leo real quick so you can be in a bad commitment with somebody knowing you need to be free and you need to get out and you want to get to know your friends a lot better not to marry them but that's the life you want to be married to you prefer to have some dignity a pride thing it's like i don't i'm not out here 
you, you're getting embarrassed in some way or you feel embarrassed about something and it's not it's not a good feeling I hear you It is having the freedom to govern itself or control its own affairs. Having the freedom to act independently. Did someone trick you into a marriage, Leo? Denoting or performed by a device capable of operating without direct human control. You want something that's real and down to earth. You don't want, you're over superficial, superficiality. I think that's become like widespread, unnecessarily widespread, okay? I believe it is. Not to mention, you don't know if you're going with somebody, like if you're online dating, you don't know if this person is, is uh, artificial intelligence, like people are superficial, that's what I get from that. And you have a heightened intuition about things, when you pick, when you pick up certain stuff, Page of Wands is incoming communication. And then you have the High Priestess, keeper, Secret Keeper, and you have the Tower. So someone is blackmailing you to stay in a marriage or stay in some kind of business commitment. That's an older woman too. Or someone who's too old to be acting like that. They acting like a Page of Wands. They're being childish with you. And whatever tea they have on you is enough to disrupt your whole world with that sudden realization of that rude awakening. They can really fuck your life up, is what they're saying. You get, you start that cocky shit, I will fuck your world up, kind of thing. You got the Hierophants, the Lovers, the Magician. There's a lot of major arcana, so this is definitely a big lesson with, yeah, you have an open heart. The one thing about Leo is they, they work, they have a very warm heart. They mean well to everyone. They're not out of control like that. But this is also someone who, uh, the Herophant is an organ organization, head of community. But these are counterparts. The high priestess and the Herophant, these are opposing energies. But they, they are both height, heightened spiritually, heightened spiritually intelligent. As well as tangibly intelligent the lovers these are count is a counterpart card for me too but it's also talking about choices it's, but it's about authenticity what's true to you what what do you know to be true for you and a magician i said something about you on uh, something about you being super talented and whatever the genre you are, you're you're known for that. Arcon you're iconic, and someone is pulling up, is triggering your loneliness and your self doubt. It's like this is a test for you to, to get more confidence. Who put these two together? This is a disaster magnet. But you coming for him though? It's like I don't know, but. You're not happy. To say the least, someone is, is black blackmailing you. Alright, the Three of Cups, the Magician again, and the Nine of Swords. This is a apprehensive in their energy. That this is not gonna work. That this is gonna work. So I feel like you made a decision with this person. This person made a decision against you, but in the fate, they play both ends from the middle with the magician. This here twice. They, 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 
they helped you do something to seal a deal they helped you manipulate energy to seal a deal with some with someone all while in your face they was working with you behind your back they was working against you so it was like a double a double whammy okay but this is a fall from grace i see a fall from grace with the hierophant and the tower is going to be that this high priest is going to fall from grace or this tower is going to hit this hierophant which i think is you is the are the hierophant both of you guilt, guilty they are both a part of the same hypocrisy is what i see with the lovers okay one is no different from the other one with the lovers and it backfired and you're paying for it the anxiety and the stress the apprehension with making a decision to wait something about you didn't feel like you couldn't wait you were impulsive you felt like this would be easier this will work and this is like i'm in it i'm in i'm in it for the moment right now whatever this this experience is supposed to be whether it be for work or for personal and you got tied and i see a marriage i said marriage but i but it, it also represents commitment so you could be bound to this high priestess because they have the they have the ability to shake up everything or fuck your life up, drain you dry, spiritually, financially, emotionally, mentally, like they're fucking with you. Okay? That's the backlash of something that you did. You're paying for it now. Yikes! This is Leo Diamond. What is going on? Like this motherfucker is is vicious. Whoever this is that is you're interacting with, you don't gotten a contract with. I don't know if you slept with them or not, but you're in a marriage with them in some way or another. Three of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Cups. This again, I'm trying to figure some. You can't figure this one out without getting without something falling back on you. You can't go into it like you did the first time. Look, you're trying to undo what you've done with this moon in reverse. Okay? If everybody knew you play into that shit, they're going to look at you different. So, is it authentic that people look at you as being, or that you're really an icon in your genre? Or is it because of the shit that this high priestess has been helping you with, all while working against you at the same time? Like, she, God forbid, she forgets to pull a stunt like that to help herself out as well as help you that's common sense you see if that makes sense like yeah she's helping you she's been helping you but don't you think she's gonna help herself too at some point because she see how vulnerable you are you know it's an egotistical thing this gives me egotistical energy with this three of wands this five of cups is regrets four of cups is disappointment like this is not what i what is this shit like what is all entangled in all the wrong shit like how did you get my my mother's address my my father's sister's number like this is weirdo shit that she will fuck your life up like some kind of fatal attraction like oh dude oh no but this one but she's sitting on it she she got a lot of shit on you that could really crumble your world and she not she not saying nothing ouch she got somebody to answer to too is what i'm hearing in my mind's eye I'm sorry, Knights of Pentacles, Two of Cups in Reverse. You damn right. This is incompatible. Or somebody saw the thing that she helped you with. The thing that she helped you try to attain. She lied to you. She lied to you and told you. She did she lied to you by not telling you you can't tap into that person's energy. You can't do the stuff. We could do that on other people. Or a certain type of people, this is not that type of person. You can't do that to. And it became as you, the Leo. I feel like you didn't listen. And that person picked up on the thing. They picked up on things and and quiet quietly left. They didn't say nothing. So really, the 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 person that that got away with the two of cups in reverse. This is incompatible. This is not. This is not good for business. 
it's like instead of making that person feel like they're not a fit for your business, you're really not a fit for them because you're doing all the stuff behind the scenes. And they know that. They picked up on something. Even if they can't prove it, they have abilities and into what they have a heightened more a more heightened intuition and they also have self-discipline so they understand when something's registering and they're on on them or pick it you know the anxiety is being projected onto them they, they picked it up and said that's not my energy that's not for me and that backfired but now it's like it's a thing where it's like it's a slow gradual buildup. the seven of swords was this this practitioner or just a damn liar this person i just feel like it's somebody you was hanging around with or fucking around with whether you slept with them or not they was full of shit when well, you should have just been more patient you was trying to rush something you saw something in that person you liked their energy you tried to rush something and it backfired this is the strategic cunning fox energy what this knight of knights of, of pentacles is like you still think this shit is it's gonna work because you can't go back because it would make you feel like a mutt or feel like a crazy person. Okay, Queen of Cups, King of Swords in reverse, it's Five of Pentacles. These are the angels blocking what this King of Swords in reverse attempted to do with his calculated, dismissive demeanor and nasty ass words damn like, like what kind of fucking leo diamond is this like what kind of region is this like it's, it's it does it's crazy like you, you sometimes they operate from their shadow side operating from their shadow side this person's belligerent maybe even narcissistic behind the shit they've been doing the whole fucking time like it makes you wonder it makes this this person this queen of cups this person was empathic they like that energy because they can use it and it, it was met with resistance that the person who was helping them do this shit didn't tell the king of swords in reverse which would be you leo diamond that you can't tap into this person's energy so they was taking advantage of you they was helping themselves and in your behind their back they was playing they was playing on you doing the same stuff against you and now you're buying to them in a way that you was trying to bind to this queen of cups and it's like shit if this person decided to tell the truth now you can now you can use this person's empathy and compassion more than ever it's like if this person decided to tell the truth that could ruin my reputation no if this motherfucker decided to tell the truth that will ruin your reputation because they know all your trash they know all the stuff like this person could probably pick it up but she's not in it for the thrills she's not in it at all she, she's you know she's not a victim she just was att you attempted to victimize this person because that is how you get your way with this king of swords in reverse it's very ignorant it's like you you know better but choose not to do better it's immature and as a and as a it triggered abandonment issues because this person is protected that's it for that okay you planted bad seeds then there's no harvest crop because you don't have the connection the bond it's not built off authenticity with this lovers here is it's, it's not it, it's a lie it's incompatible and everyone knows it now everybody involved knows it whether they have something to do with it or not they realize this is not meant to be so now you're stuck in a, a, a clusterfuck of drama and it's only just that the person that was preyed on got moved out the way is protected from it what would this Queen of Cups say if she found out the truth? Give your relationship a chance. An engagement, no. Work on your partnership. It has to come from an authentic space or none of this is gonna work. Okay? You can't throw somebody a ball and then find fault in how they catch it. I hear that. And engagement being in reverse is non-commitment. I don't know why this person felt entitled, but I think it's the backlash of what they did. And that they feel like this is where they're supposed to be because it's safer. But you knew that. I mean, you didn't know that, but if you figured that anyway, then why would you mess it up? Like, you know what I mean? You can't force people's hand and make and, and bonding with them. So that's it's a it's a lesson. It is a lesson for this this leo diamond that has done that they feel like a cupid zirconia right now 
not an emerald diamond. I feel like they, they felt entitled. They felt entitled to somebody else's worth, self-value, self-respect, whatever the creative endeavor was or is. Maybe it's just a partner at the end of the day. It's just simply having someone, someone's loyalty, devout, someone who, who cares enough to treat you like a human being, a decent person. And I just feel like your insecurities overtook the situation or you're just, you can't hide who you are. That's what the lovers is being true to yourself, is being authentic. Like you can't have it both ways. You can't, it ain't like you're trying to hide. It's just, it shows who you are. It shows who you are. And this person picked up on it and said, no dice. It never occurs to me that this is what we're doing. It's just like, it's like you made plans with somebody's life without including them in it. So I hope that gives somebody insight because this is fucking scary. I'm getting out of here. That's like fatally attracted now. This person is like beyond obsessed in a way because they feel bad. They feel bad because they're by themselves. Is it that you by yourself or is it that you're trying to figure out another way to gain control? You're trying to bring this per will this person back in, the person not coming back. 